How do you explain this one now to me? How? As in, how? Somebody, how? No way you can tell me that this thing normal. How do you tell me that children in Nigeria manufacture drone? Hmm? Manufacture what? A drone that can fly. How many African countries are already building drones in the first place? Let us start from there. How, for you to understand how insane this thing is. This thing, this thing is insane. It's not, it's not making any sense. As in a normal school project for school children in Nigeria. It reach these children their turn. They go manufacture drone. Nigerians. Are you people normal? No, no, you people cannot be normal. How many African countries are even capable? I mean, mature country with scientists and engineers and people. How many African countries they build drone? How many? Oh my, I tired this one. See, you know, Gertie won't tell me. As a Nigerian ambassador, where I be, oh my, this Nigeria eh, is the greatest country in the world. Now, only small leadership problem, then they destroy Nigeria. Because if a country like this, with this kind of potentials, with this kind of children, with this kind of people that are so created, that are so gifted, it's like God, eh, when God finished born you for Nigeria, in the earth, a pinch of something extra that other people don't have in this planet. I'm telling you people the truth. It's a fact. These Nigerians are getting smarter than the Chinese. They are getting smarter than the Americans. They are getting smarter than the Americans. They are smarter than the Chinese. They are, you know, we used to grow up eh, when we were in secondary school. Let me just tell you how we used to think. When we were in secondary school, we'll be doing science. We're doing science, right? We'll be like, oh, we are learning about uh, surgery. We are learning about all these animals. We are learning about different parts of the body, but you never see them. We learn history. We learn a lot of nonsense. Meanwhile, Chinese, they are busy doing homework. Chinese children are doing homework is to go and build toy. Homework is to go and make shoe. Homework, homework is to go and manufacture something. Homework is to go and children in China. You understand? So we grew up with that mindset thinking that these Chinese, they are extraordinary. When we see their small toy cars, they manufacture, they tell you that, oh, this is a project for school kids. We'll be like, wow, so Chinese school kids, now then they manufacture toy car, toy this, toy that. You understand? We used to feel like the, the right to manufacturing, the right to creativity has been reserved for Americans, for Chinese, for white people. That's how we grew up in Africa. Now lie. Shall they lie? If I lie, just how they lie. You don't feel talking now because it's true. You understand? We grew up knowing that ah, anything made, once you just buy something, you need to open it, it will be made in China, made in Vietnam, made in America, made in India, made in Italy, made in Germany. We grew up with that mindset. So it is very, 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 very shocking that Nigerians are flipping it over. You understand? They are flipping it over. I can bet you now. I bet you. <laughs> Africans, you better agree. You better accept. You go to Ghana today, probably majority of their exercise books are made in Nigeria. Yes. Probably majority of Ghanaian shoes are made in Nigeria. Pro majority of their things they consume now. I know how China became powerful. Do you know how China started dominating over America and Europe? Manufacturing. Manufacturing. Technology. Creativity. If America produced shoe, the Chinese will carry that shoe to China and create a way to produce that shoe faster, cheaper, Better do we do we do, ah before America won't open eye that shoe that they were making China has produced one million when America is still producing two. That's the secret creativity, manufacturing, productivity, smart, smart, and that is a pure indicator of economic growth. That is a pure indicator of people that will rise and dominate the world. A pure indicator of people that are ready to rise and conquer territories. And dominate. And the dominance is already evidence. The dominance is already all over the place in Africa. Should I explain? Need I, need I tell you more? Need I? 
So when I see the, the things that these Nigerians are doing, when I see the kind of creativity among Nigerian youth, when I see what they are developing, what Nigerian youth are manufacturing, I tell you, and I will continue telling you, the day I went to Abba, Nigerians, the day I enter Abba, and that day I know, say, <laughs> anything you are buying in Nigeria, that they will even write made in Turkey, made in China, made in Japan. Now Nigeria, they produce, so they produce it in Nigeria and put made in Italy. They produce it in Nigeria, made right made in Turkey. They produce it in Nigeria because they don't say if they put made in Nigeria, when I go say, oh, Nigeria cannot produce good quality. It's still wisdom. Wisdom upon wisdom. I'm telling you, you cannot convince me otherwise. Nigerians are getting smarter than Chinese in manufacturing, in industrialized, in creativity. Is a fact, my brothers. If you still don't believe this fact, you are on your own. You'll be all zwa. you be all, That means you never see anything. You still a height for your room for Nigeria. You understand? Anything that comes to tech, manufacturing, creativity, designing. Once Nigeria has put hand for the matter, I'm going to make everybody move hand. Because if Nigeria's hand don't reach the matter, then we say they go, they go make sure everybody go there frustrated in that field. They go make sure say everybody will want to do that. When they do that thing, go no say you cannot compete with Nigerians. And that is their way of life. Because now, look at these school children. Eh? I cannot count the number of ni young Nigerians that I saw another one. They did a school project. You understand? A financial app, a school project. By the time those children were graduating, their school project they work on has generated millions. It now becomes a solution. I come and ask myself, how is this? Oh, wow. What are, what are, because when I look at other countries in Africa, Cameroon, Ghana, you see their PhD students, their master students in engineering, their students in IT, they are doing software engineering, they are doing this and that, coding this. They know they develop no better app. No better uh, uh, tech advancement. Nothing is happening. But you see children in Nigeria in secondary school. In university, they are developing apps. They are developing things. They are creating things. They are manufacturing things that are taking over the world. So now, wait one I want to tell me, Africans. When I open my mouth now today, say Nigerians are the greatest in this continent. When I open my mouth now today, say nobody can compare with them. When I open my mouth now today, say Africa should bow and respect them and learn from them. When I go, they do face. When I go, they do face. Ghanaian, South Africa, everybody go, they do face. Because of envy. When I do, they jealous of that. Free yourself. Free your mind. Free yourself and learn. Free yourself. Their creativity is out of this world. They're that, that on a different planet. Hello. They are literally living on the, on the different planet. Why the other African countries, they are living on a different planet, my brothers. I tell you people this for free. Me not go tell a lie. Me, I'm being very honest with you. 1,000% honest. Because this is absolutely shocking. If you don't shock you, now you'll be say you'll be shocker. <laughs> if this is not shock you, now you'll be say you are a shocker. Children, build drone. And they won a price. If you think it's a joke, they won a price. Global price, drone, drone that can fly. Nigeria self eh, is just one of the countries in the world that is building drones. Nigeria officially has a company that is building drones. So they have a powerful company that is building drones in Nigeria. They have a powerful company that's building military jets and all these uh, military drones and stuff. It's already done in Nigeria. But now to see children that are capable of doing it on their own from scratch is something that people need to investigate. Sometimes these children might be aliens. They, they might be alien. They get alien blood. Because nothing you want to tell me. Nothing you want to tell me, bro. So let me give you guys more insight about these children. So you people will have far more, more understanding. You understand? So Nigerian students name uh, Africa's best for drone innovation. Drone innovation. They are named what? African best. A team of Nigerian students has made, has made as Africa's top young entrepreneurs after their company. Smart Gen Genics, Iro Monitor Limited, represented representing Daruno by Intercontinental School, were just named 2025 Africa.
Company of the Year at the Junior Achievement Africa Company of the Year competition. So the achievement was confirmed by the marketing and communication manager of this organization in Nigeria. Yes, in a statement released by Punch, a news platform online. That these Nigerian children, as small as they are, they don't shake in the world with innovation in the drone technology. With, through, with bringing out different kinds of ah, almost children in school. In addition, the main title, the team also clinched the Public Choice Award. Yeah, awards with children they win. Children award. Hmm? The Public Choice Award receiving enthusiastic support from voters, both locally and internationally. So people locally and internationally, they voted and, and celebrated these children. Highlighting the wide impact of their innovation. So in our clothes, comes up with a cash price of about $3,000. Qualities for the team advanced to the Global Entertainment Championship. You understand? And of course, they'll be featuring first place winners from Junior Achievement 6 Regional Competition. So this is what Nigerians are doing that I wonder how. Because children in school cannot just be innovative in this manner. And I begin to see why Nigerians are so bright because these competitions at this junior level, it exposes them to more. Before you know now, by the time these children are graduating, they are finishing with school, they will be creating their own little groups here and there. They'll be having groups where they work together. And before you know, they'll be taking over the world. So China and America, they've got to be careful. The way Nigeria is coming, the rest of the world needs to be very, very careful because Nigeria will come and overtake them and they will not even notice it happening. Because they like to be looking down on Africa. They like to be looking down on Nigeria. It is what it is. Your boy, Ajuma, is on this one again. Smash the like button. Smash the notification bell. Come back anytime you're free, guys. Because there's always more beautiful and amazing videos just for y'all. God bless y'all. Cheers.